voice and yeah and morning face <laughs> as you can tell but I'm gonna moisturize my face I'm probably not gonna explain like every single product that I'm using only because I'm in a bit of a time crunch um, it's currently 744 so I have about an hour to do my makeup an hour and 15 minutes and then the rest I want to spend like just kind of fixing my outfit and stuff so I will try to have everything just like linked down below if you guys are actually interested in any products that I'm using but yeah today I am using a new lens so let me know how you guys like it um, I'm kind of undecided about it I mean it looks good right now but it doesn't zoom or unzoom and it's like so cropped so literally I have the camera like so far from me and I don't know if I like that Totally need a cleaning up. They are like getting a little bit out of hand, but I'm going to vid VidCon in like four days, which is kind of crazy to me because I still haven't really prepared much for it. Um, but I'm gonna go to the Benefit um, brow bar again on Young and, Young and Eglinton in Toronto, and I'm gonna get my brows snatched for VidCon. <music> So brows are finally on. <laughs> that took a while as usual. Um, okay, so because I feel like my face is already pretty hydrated, so I don't think I'm going to go in with a hydrating primer, but I am going to go in with a smoothing one by Estee Lauder. This is their double wear, or sorry, this isn't their double wear, it's their the smoother primer or something like that. So I'm going to smooth this over the areas that I have a lot of texture, which is mainly my nose, right here. And then to keep my face matte all day, I'm going to be using the NYX Shine Killer. And I used this the other day and literally I looked dry as the Sahara Desert, so... It was also pretty cold that day, but today is like 27 degrees Celsius, so that's no bueno. And I don't want to look like a greasy hot dog in my photos, so... Shine killer it is, but this is literally like, I don't know if you can tell when I'm putting it on. It literally just like mattifies instantly, but it's not like chalky, you know? Like the makeup for other, everyone is like really good, like it keeps you matte, but it's like chalky, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. This thing is like really bugging me. My sunglasses, I'm gonna move them. <laughs> want me to do my university advice video I was initially just waiting for um, like my actual graduation because I don't know I just felt like it's better to do it like after my grad even though you know I technically already graduated after I finished school but um, I'm gonna probably ask on snapchat and maybe Twitter um, what kind of questions that you guys have in regards to like university and schooling and any advice that I can offer to you guys and I'm gonna film um, probably instead of just like a, a straight up q and A, I I think I'm going to do like a QA and a slash get ready with me so while I'm like putting on my makeup I'll answer your questions because I always like never know what to say it's kind of like bittersweet that I'm done because it's gonna be really weird not like picking up my stuff and moving to Waterloo every August now, um, every end of August, and I'm definitely gonna miss it, but I'm also like super happy that I'm done because I can just kind of like start my life now, you know? 
I'm going to set what I just put on my mouth because I like to do that now. This is just the Laura Mercier um, translucent uh, medium deep powder. And then what I've actually been doing recently is taking my Tarte Shape Tape and putting this on my nose because my nose gets like super oily and because of that it like breaks up my foundation sometimes. So to prevent that from happening, I'm going to use this concealer first because it's like super full coverage and matte and it like stays put, like it stays. So I'm just going to... I am actually going to go in with foundation. I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in N8. And I'm also going to be using my old favorite. This is the Lancome Tide to Duel. This is like the foundation that I always use when I'm doing um, like special event sort of makeup. Like if I'm going to a special event. So. Yeah, also this foundation's a little too dark for me, so and this foundation's a little too light for me. Mixed together, it's a perfect match. Wow. This foundation is literally a perfect match to my skin right now. It's so like difficult to get in between the brows without messing them up, but <laughs> I literally cannot do my foundation before my brows anymore. I don't know why. Wow, these two foundations mixed together look gorgeous. This is just for your stuff. <laughs> just my gift for you. They had a wedding at the... Yeah, here. They had a wedding, didn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This can put it in there. Hey, are you the Is it heavy? Yeah, it's very heavy. Oh, God. Put it in your table. My dad just brought me flowers, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I just switched out my fake plants for that one. <laughs> How pretty are they, though? They're so pretty. But I feel like by the time this video is up, I'm definitely at 100,000 subscribers now. So if this video goes up on Monday, then like, guys, I'm so excited. Today, ew, that was my dad. Today is my graduation, and I'm pretty sure I'm also going to hit 100,000 on the same day. Which kind of blows my mind. <laughs> it's like a double milestone, but I'm super excited for it. It's a long time coming, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and bake now. This is the Derma Blend powder, but I already have some of my Laura Mercier powder mixed in here because I always use them together. Yeah, so I'm also going to go in with the new filter powder by NYX. 
and I use the shade mahogany. I use this to bronze as well, but I'm actually gonna use it sort of to like bronze slash contour right now. gonna use the same bronzing brush this is the bomb beach blush though bomb springs I always say bomb beach I think there's another one called bomb beach okay moving on to the eyes if you guys are always wondering what this is basically I use the house of lashes lash glue and although it's really good I kind of have a life, a life, a love-hate relationship with it because it leaves like residue in your lashes and it's so hard to remove. If any of you know how to remove lash glue from your lashes, like please let me know because oh my god, it's so hard and it's very frustrating. Oh, by the way, I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going into the shade Puree right over here so I think I want to do something like I don't know if I want to do completely matte um, yeah I'm not really sure yet I feel like I should do some shimmer like my outfit is pretty much just all white like it's all cream so I feel like I could totally do some shimmer on the eyes but I'm still not really sure I might just do like a color pop shadow but we shall see and then I'm going into Summer Yum, which is the shade right beside it. Like I said, I have no idea what eye look I'm going for right now. I'm just like doing what I know I'm comfortable with and what I know looks good on me. This is kind of very similar to what I wore in my grad makeup or my grad photo makeup. And I really liked how fresh that look was. I also have a tutorial on it already, but you know what? I might just add a ColourPop shadow all over my lid. Makeup Geek and then over top that I took Nectar from the Sweet Peach palette and I just kind of put that over top and now I'm just gonna sort of blend that in a little hmm. I don't know I feel like I like the simplicity of it but is it like too simple you know okay I'm actually I want to define the eyes a little more, so I'm going to go into the... Whoa, I just stuck my hand in every color. I'm going to go into the Too Faced Natural Love Palette, and I think on like this like fluffy brush. Yeah. No, it's a little too fluffy. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go into Makeup and Chill. This is like my favorite color in the entire palette, but... I'm gonna go into that and just put that in my outer corner. but if it does end up recording it then great <laughs> I am going to put on lashes though, so this is just to kind of like 
like a landing spot, you know? Okay, so that literally took me like over 30 minutes to try and put in. But I ended up just going with my Cara DW eyelashes. I literally switched through three different lashes and ended up just doing the ones that I always do. Um, so now for my highlight, um, I also put some, actually, let me put some mascara on my lower lash line first. Um, I put a white eyeliner or a cream eyeliner on my waterline. And now for the highlight, I'm gonna use Max Shaft of Gold. so I feel like this will look kind of nice with it. I really gotta go though, I really gotta put on my clothes. So I'll show you guys my outfit, I'll get someone to film it while I'm at my grad or something, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up and leave a nice comment for me down below and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah. Aisha Haran.